This story uses a true pumpkin negotiation story experienced by Professor Jean Brett to introduce the Smart Settle Infinity process. You would never use such a process to negotiate pumpkins like this. Rather, our goal is to help you imagine how this collaborative e-negotiation system can be applied to the most complex, multilateral negotiations on Earth. Professor Brett's story is adapted here to more fully illustrate Infinity's features. In our version, Teacher wants 20 pumpkins for a Halloween party, and Farmer is willing to sell her only 10 pumpkins. Teacher applies her interest-based negotiating skills and asks Farmer why he will only sell her half the pumpkins. When Teacher learns that Farmer needs to save some seeds for next year's planting, the parties are able to create some options for mutual gain. They identify four issues. Total cost, number of pumpkins sold, how many pumpkins worth of seeds returned, and delivery, today, tomorrow, or never. Each issue needs a negotiating range so that the parties can build a model of the problem, including a representation of their preferences. We are watching this negotiation from teacher's private point of view. Farmer has a similar point of view of the issues, but arranged according to his own preferences. Ranges are oriented here so that the teacher prefers the values on the right hand side. Teacher next defines how she becomes satisfied of each of the issues. Teacher opens the satisfaction graph for total cost and assigns a relative importance of 100 points. This corresponds to the difference in satisfaction between 10 francs and 80 francs. The school budget for this party is only 60 francs, and the teacher would need to pay out of her own pocket if the price was higher. To reflect this, the teacher inserts a point at 60 francs so that the graph shows her satisfaction dropping more steeply after that. Note that how much one satisfaction point is worth is different at each end of the graph, but roughly equal to one franc. Teacher Bradley wants to have one pumpkin for each of her 20 students. She considers this twice as important as cost and assigns 200 points to number of pumpkins. Teacher's satisfaction drops dramatically if she gets one less than 20 pumpkins. Teacher is happy to return the seeds and assigns the issue a nominal 10 points. Most of the cost of returning the seeds is associated with the first pumpkin. It doesn't cost much more to return the seeds of more pumpkins. The satisfaction graph for the delivery issue is optioned. Farmer agreeing to deliver tomorrow, because today is a holiday, is worth 50 points. But delivery today is still very good compared to never. Now, with a comprehensive representation of her preferences, teacher can create complete packages and easily compare them. The sliders for each issue of a new package appear on the left hand side. This package is arbitrarily set to zero. When the sliders are moved to the right side, it becomes worth 360 points. Teacher moves the sliders to form a package that she would probably not accept and renames it to unacceptable. It is now worth 135 points. Teacher will not accept anything worth 135 points or less. Teacher also creates three more reference packages named Optimistic, Concession, and Fair. Teacher is determined to reach a fair agreement, so her goal package is worth at least 191 points. When Teacher submits her optimistic proposal, Farmer's initial proposal is also revealed and can easily be compared. The parties could continue exchanging packages like this until they got a deal. It would be much better than negotiating issue by issue, but Smart Settle can further speed up the process with visual blind bidding, which generates semi-optimal suggestions. The suggestions appear between the proposals in order of preference to teacher. Package 3 is quite good compared to FAIR so teacher accepts it. A yellow dot appears. This is a secret acceptance marker. Farmer does not know that teacher has accepted this package. 
and teacher doesn't know which packages farmer has accepted. If they both accept the same package, an agreement will be declared when the parties end the session. There was no deal in session one. Teacher proposes her concession package to begin session two and shows some visible movement to farmer. Farmer responds with his own concession. Visible concessions help by encouraging secret concession. Parties may also publish anonymous proposals called masquerades. Teacher publishes her fair package is a masquerade. It appears as suggestion seven looking no different than any other suggestions. This feature minimizes bias that one party may have towards proposals created by the other party. Teacher accepts package seven and ends session two. They have a deal, but there may still be hidden value. Teacher requests an improvement. This invokes an intelligent algorithm called maximize the minimum game which distributes uncovered value fairly among the parties. Teacher sees that this improvement package asks her to give up some satisfaction on some issues. This is in trade for more satisfaction on other issues. She recognizes that the improvement is a lot better and promptly accepts it. Relative to her unacceptable package, the value of the improvement is worth a lot more to the teacher than the baseline. What you've seen can be applied to the most complex problems you can imagine between any number of parties located anywhere on Earth. Thanks for watching. Watch the same negotiation from Farmer's point of view next and see how he also received an improvement relative to the baseline.